2023 was a very explosive, exciting year for for the sport of boxing in general. We had a lot of great fights uh, within the Golden Boy stable, uh, fights of the year candidates, including Jaime Munguia uh, and, and other fighters uh, in our stable. But I, I'm, I'm very proud of what boxing has done. Uh, over the years, especially especially this year, in 2000, talking about this for many years, for decades, but uh, boxing is healthy, boxing is alive and well, and we're excited for a young man who has been leading the charge in making sure that the fans are getting what they, 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 they deserve, and that's action-packed fights, and Jaime Munguia was built for this moment. Jaime Munguia was built to be inside the ring and give the fight facts entertainment. And then that'll happen at the end of January in Phoenix, Arizona, Munguia and Ryder Austin. Before we start talking about them though, let's talk about what you've been doing because you've been very active on social media telling fighters, hey, let's get the fights going. You called out other promoters because, not just because you're a promoter and it's a business, but because you care about the sport. Well, I'm a fighter first. Um, the world sometimes forgets that I was a fighter first and I love watching great matchups. I love watching uh, prospects who are graduating to become national champions, international champions, and then eventually world champions. I, I want to see the best fighting the best. It does take some work. It does take a lot of strategy. You have other promoters that you're working with. Maybe sometimes fighters are not ready. They need more time. They need more uh, experience. But in due time, I strongly feel that in 2024, like I said, the future starts today. And I really feel that by working with the rest of the promoters, we can make the best fights happen. Because like I said, I'm a fighter first, and I'm a fan. He loves being in the ring, he loves trading, he loves uh, being in front of the crowd. He's in ex an exciting fight every single time he goes out. He has the power, he has the talent, he has the work ethic, he has the vision. But more importantly now, he has a corner in Freddie Roach, who will take him to the next level. Jaime Munguia, the future is today. And believe me when I say this, Jaime Munguia will challenge anybody and everybody at 168. 168 pounds is on notice. 2020, very difficult fight against John Ryder, a fighter who we all know now because of uh, facing Canelo Alvarez, where that fight lasted 12 rounds. Um, Canelo couldn't knock him out. Obviously, I'm sure that Freddie Roach and Mugia, I don't want to speak for them, but if I was them, I would want to finish that job and knock out Ryder. So that's uh, that's that's a very intriguing fight, um, January 27th for Jaime Mugia and for the sport of boxing. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, it's going to be one of those firework fights that we uh, I guess we always expect from uh, Jaime Mugia.